Hello YouTube, it's Brad from SonicGamer.com um, Today, or tonight, we're going to do something a little bit different I have been asked quite a few times if we could show the collection that sat behind me you know, on my videos and you know, just little questions like how much it's cost, what's in there what do you collect for, etc etc So I'm just going to do a quick overview of the stuff that you see every video that sat behind me now, all this stuff I'm showing now, so we'll have a better look in a minute, we'll have a close-up of some of the games and go through them, is basically what I've collected over the last six months that I've been on YouTube. I started doing YouTube videos, collection videos, about six months ago. And the only things you see behind me are stuff I've picked up. Um, there's actually some items missing here, just because there's no room for them. There's no N64 on here, that's basically been boxed off and some of it's been traded on. There's no GameCube, if you remember there used to be GameCube on the shelf here. That has been boxed off and a bit has been traded on, all the doubles have now gone. Um, the Jaguar is boxed off, that's up in the attic. So yeah, there's quite a bit missing. The Master System is in the other room. Uh, what else have I picked up recently? Xbox in the other room. PC stuff, except for Team Raider up there, is in the other room. So the stuff actually I'm going to show tonight without going into an in-depth collection video, which I'm hoping to do very soon, is just stuff that I've picked up over the last six months. So all this on air is six months worth of picking. Now I have been lucky with some of the prices. I keep spreadsheets of everything that I've paid and I suppose it's because I run my own business I'm used to doing that sort of thing. So I actually went over the spreadsheets tonight and worked out roughly what this has cost me. And all this on air is about £230 worth of, you know, what I've paid out for it. So it's about 500 games on air. Um, so 250 quid for everything, even the consoles at the top, is not a bad price. Um, there's, like I said, there's bargains out there. You have to hustle a little bit, get in there, but you can find the stuff. And obviously some of this stuff as well has been traded, etc. So, you know, I've picked up more than what I've put out, except, you know, when you're doing trades, you know how it works. You get a few bruises and um, some people want a certain item, willing to pass on something that's worth a little bit more for that item. But hopefully there's some there's still some nice titles in there. It's not just shelf filler. There's a few games in there that I'm not really bothered about. But one day I will get around to doing my full... Um, as it stands at the moment, PlayStation 2 collection. Now, PlayStation 2 collection is probably the biggest collection that I have. Um, in total, there's about... Well, I don't know exactly what there is. There's 1,173 games I have at the moment. So, I'm about halfway through that collection. And like I say, I will get around to doing a full collection. A lot of it's still in boxes from when we moved. There is stuff in on the counter... Uh, sorry, at the cabinets in the lounge. Uh, the nicer titles. PlayStation 1... I say this is stuff that I've just picked up. Um, there's again probably about that much that I'm looking at now in the lounge of some of the prime titles, some of the, the really nice titles. And then at the top, we've got the Mega Drive collection. In fact, that's all the Mega Drive games I own. I've got a really small Mega Drive collection, and quite a few doubles in there. So, as I go over this collection, if you do see anything you want that is a double, I mean, there is some doubles in this. Um, but there's also some doubles that are variants of the game. Obviously, I'm going for complete collections for PlayStation. So that's PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1. Um, if you do see doubles in there, please feel free to ask if there's something that you see that you like. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm doing with the um, wrong way. The SNES games just yet. Actually, the process of cleaning the carts up, getting them all spick and spam. Um, I've been offered already quite, well not quite a bit of money, but enough money for Turtles and Time. I've got three offers on that now. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to get rid of it or not. I suppose if somebody came along and offered me Castlevania for the PlayStation 1, then obviously I would, but it's not going to happen. Or, you know, a nice title for the PlayStation 1, I probably would think about getting rid of it. But, yeah. Um, Let's start off. Now, it is actually near enough in alphabetical order. There is certain bits that aren't in alphabetical order due to, if you can see down there, there's little piles and there's little bits stuck on the end where I've just not got round to 
putting them in, moving stuff out. I've actually got a new unit on order, which should be here pretty soon, and also a new desk unit. So once all that's in, you'll actually see the game room and which is not just a mess at the moment. A PC here, spins around, you've got the TVs, you've seen all this before. PlayStation, there's a desk down here that's got Xbox, Wii, um, PlayStation 1, I don't know what else is in there. There's, up, there's other consoles in there as well, Master Systems in there, um, set up for this TV. So let's go and have a look at what we've got. It's five minutes, just me chatting about the questions so far. So we'll start with the A's, I suppose, with PlayStation 2. So hopefully this will focus. As I find games that are pretty good, and I'll pull them out. There's quite a bit of shelf filler on this because there's all stuff I've picked up. Um, a Train's a pretty cool game. It's not a bad game. I can remember getting a Japanese import of that. In fact, I've still got it. Um, I picked that up quite recently. I'd say this is all six months worth of work. This is factory sealed. Alter Ego. Got that off my brother in law at Christmas. Aqua Aqua. Great puzzle game. Um, I was a fan of that in the day. Back in the day. A couple of Blade 2s there, so there's one for trade. Batman. A few Call of Duty. Big red ones. Colin McRae, you can't go wrong with some Colin McRae. Uh, guys taken away far too soon. Great rally driver. Great game. Uh, Commandos 2, really love this game. Uh, over the top strategy game. And that was the big hype about that when it was ready for coming out. It was a brilliant game. Came on the PC. It was PlayStation 2 at the time. Um, just three of them for some reason. A bit of a um, bit of a um, Dragon Ball Z pawn for Andrew, PS1 fan. And that's his Dragon Ball Z, unfortunately. But for a full collection I've got to own them. I'm not a Dragon Ball Z fan. I don't know if you can see this because the lights on it move over a bit. Uh, of course you've got Dynasty Warriors somewhere here as well. Oh this is one I didn't show on camera, I put this on um Facebook, but I'm showing this yet. It's Dark Cloud. Uh, sorry, not Dark Cloud, it's fall onto Dark Cloud. Dark Chronicles. Um, really good like, action RPG sort of game. Uh, I picked this up for 95p, complete from the charity shop. So that wasn't a, a bad find, that sells for about 15 quid. So you've got the Disney games, uh, factory seal games here, Devil May Cry. These are just little mad games I've, I've found, never heard of them before, and the factory sealed. But like I said, this is just six months of collecting all oh, this. And we go down to the D's, we've got Demon Souls, uh, what else is good here, let's have a look, Eye Toys, ESP Fight Night, it's a great game, FIFA Street, absolutely love it, you've got the Final Fantasies, there's more Final Fantasies down below, that I've not put in yet, um, of course FIFA 14, Factory Sealed, I picked that up, that was, the last, that was the last game that was available for the Playstation 2, so that'll be seen Factory Sealed. Gran Turismo's, the two variants are there. Uh, G1 Jockey, Golden Eye Rogue Agent, not a bad game. Gift, I actually quite like this. It's a great game. Uh, some people just slag it off, but I quite enjoy it. Reminds me of a lot of um, Knack on the PlayStation 4, obviously. It's the same sort of style. It's quite a good game, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Vice City, brilliant game. Guilty Gear, next two. Gun. Uh, Gauntlet Dark Cloud, another great game. I've got to pick that up quite recently. Half Life, really good port. Well, so the Kingdom Hearts are there now, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Still haven't got around to playing them yet. We just got them recently into the collection. Um, Hyper Street Fighter 2, great game, great version. I played quite a lot of that quite recently. Down to the Lara Croft Tomb Raiders. Legos, Madden, Mafia's a nice game, that's a really good game. Mr. Mosquito, a little obscure game, quite hard to find that now. You're basically this little mosquito and you're flying around annoying people. For some reason, three Medal of Honours picked up, Metal Gear Solids, Metal Slug 3, this is actually a trade with Daz Cajonas Dolores. I think this is the first trade I did on YouTube, if I remember correctly. Um, I can't remember what that was for. I can't remember what I did for that, but that was from Cornus Dolores. Mr. Golf, Mist, great game. 
Uh, that's the box set of most. You probably saw that when I picked it up. I picked that up from Lee Nesnutter. Quite recently, it's got the strategy guide in there. Um, Prince of Persia's. We've got all them now on the system. What else have we got? Project Zero. Really nice game, really good game. So I'm just trying to read this. Shadow the Hedgehog, I absolutely hate. Simpsons Hit and Run. And all these games I'm going to show you all the way up are box complete. Down here if the camera will let me to do, allow me to do this. So I've got Smash Court Tennis. Soul Blade 2 is a good game, really good game. And you've got the Space Invader Invasion Day, which is a, um, a different angle on the Space Invader games. You're basically a human and you're facing waves of aliens in like alleyways. It's really bizarre, really odd. It's worth checking out a gameplay of. Like, you probably know them. I always say I'll do them and never get around to doing them. Um, Star Wars, Starfighter, brilliant. Stuntman, brilliant. There's so many great games on the PlayStation 2. There's only a fraction of what I've got. Uh, two Silent Hills there. Again, I said on a um, response video, I think Silent Hill has got to be one of the best soundtracks in a video game ever. Absolutely amazing. This is a great game, Title Legends. Put some retro. Uh, Rainbow Island's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant game, New Zealand Story. Great games. Time Splitters 2, a franchise I'd wish they would bring back. Absolutely love me some Time Splitters. Um, sorry about this, camera's off. The Getaway, Time Crisis, there's so many great games. I could just go on and on and on. This is the Fraction, Tekken 5, The Warriors, Unreal Tournament, V Rallies, and then Wipeout. Um, so many, this is an amazing game as well, this one. 13 and Zone of Enders, brilliant games. We've got some of the ones that are waiting to go back on the shelf there. Resident Evil 4, R-Type Final, amazing, that version of R-Type. Uh, Final Fantasy X, Devil May Cry 3, Final Fantasy 12, and other Prince of Persia. So they're waiting to be sorted out to put on the shelves. All right, now we've got to the PlayStation 1. Um, obviously, you've probably seen most of these because these are all quite recent. I've only been doing YouTube videos for six months, so we've got, <coughs> excuse me, Action Bass. I'm not going to name them all, I'm just going to pick out the key ones. Um, where are they? Where are the good ones? Well, most of these are okay. Broken Sword 2, I've really enjoyed playing that recently. That's nice point and click adventure game. Civilization 2, the game that started my um, obsession with Civilization. Absolutely love this version of the game because it doesn't end like the PC ones end, they have an ending to it. This one you can just keep going and going and going for years and years, as long as you want to keep going on it for. Love it. Um, Colin McRae, again, they started my Colin McRae at sessions, my rally driving. And even today I watch the rally when it's on the TV, just from these games. Um, Crash Bandicoot, I've got Black Label up there, it needs to go in. The Crocs, brilliant games. Uh, Diablo, that's getting a pricey game now. Quite, quite hard to find. Dino Crisis, of course Dino Crisis 2. Discworld, again, point and click adventure game. Really funny, really well written. What else have we got here? Evil Dead. This game is so terrible. It is really bad. Um, don't take my word for it. Go and check out on YouTube. It is so bad. FIFAs, I do like my FIFAs. Of course, you've got Final Fantasy VIII's there. They're the two variants, Platinum and Normal. Uh, Formula One, love my Formula One. Frogger, great version of Frogger. Then you're getting into Grand Theft Autos, Gran Turismo's. Jake Coon's a great game. Quite enjoy Jersey Devil as well. Platform game, really good fun. Jumping Flash, number three, it was a really early game. Again, platform game, really enjoy that. And then we're up to Legacy of Town, Soul Reaver. Brilliant. Metal Gear Solids, you can see there's quite a few there, but there's different variants of them. Um, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, a really good version. Really good version of Mortal Kombat. Thoughts on that, it's a classic version, I need to get the original one though for that. Music 2000, I don't know if anybody had this back in the day. Actually, make your own samples and do your own tracks on there. You just spend hours on that. What else are we up to now? The Odd Worlds. Can't go wrong with Odd Worlds. Some of these are up for trade. Uh, One Piece Mansion is a little like platforms, really bizarre. 
with himself platform game, quite hard to find. And you've got the Pandemoniums, great platforms. Parappa the Rapper, everybody knows what Parappa the Rapper is, it's getting pricey. It's definitely getting up there now. Rainbow Six, a strategy game, it's one of them where you have to set out what you want to do before you go if you've never played it before. It's not really a first person shooter per se. A lot of strategy to it, really enjoy it. And you've got Royal Championship, one of them's factory seals. Of course, Rayman. Ooh, my legs, I'm getting old. So we'll move the, um, oh, we'll do these while we're here. You saw these recently, I picked all these up for 30 pounds along with some Mega Drive games. The Pilot Wings, uh, Magic Boy. I'm just in the process of cleaning all these. The Lethal Weapon, that's a terrible game. Um, player Manager. Well, speaks for itself, it's terrible. Mortal Kombat, Donkey Kong, absolutely love that game. Uh, Yoshi's Island, not bad, it's just the Baby Mario's kind of annoying. The sensible Soccer, I'll go for these again, you've seen them all. Super Mario World, um, Real Monsters, let's see, so I haven't got a lot of cleaning yet, which is Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Claymates, I've not tried it yet, I tried just to see if it worked, it worked fine, just needs cleaning up. Baseball, not tried it yet. It's cleaning still. Mario All Stars, still on the cleaning pile. And of course, Turtles in Time, which is the, probably the best game I've got in there. Like I say, I've had a few offers on that. Not sure what I'm doing with it. It may, it may go. So, let's put all that in front of that. Move them along. So, more Raymans Rayman 2, Rayman Rush. You've got the Resident Evil's Director's Cut, brilliant version. Um, some of you might know this, but on the. This version of Resident Evil. If you get the the value series on the back of it, there's a, a misprint on it. If you look down there, I'm getting there, it's going to focus. It says one to two players. Obviously, Resident Evil is only a one player game. So, there's a misprint on that season, series. Uh, I'm not sure, quite sure if they're all like that or not, but the ones I've got, I've got that on. Resident Evil 2, there's a couple of variants there, and there's one for trade. Nemesis. Absolutely amazing. Space Monkeys, Sea Monkeys, this is such a weird little game where you're actual sea monkey. Really bizarre, getting quite hard to find now. Sheep, Dog and Wolf, so that's spying out, I thought I'd done that. Um, getting quite hard to find, um, have a look on YouTube at the video. It's really bizarre, it's quite good fun. In fact, I will do a gameplay of this. It's one that people should be looking out for. Let's move these along, but classic Space Invaders. Spec Ops, another one that's getting quite pricey if you're on the lookout for games for PlayStation 1. Super Puzzle Fighter 2. Just don't think it sold very well. Then we're getting on to the Tekkens. Still need a black label Tekken. I haven't got one of those yet unless it's up there ready to go in. Nope. Um, Adventures of Alundra, and I've got a, a, um, a Lundra 2 up there. Action RPG is very much like Zelda. Towing jobs, time crisis again. Um, should have a gun for this game from Monkey Spaz coming very soon, which is great. I've been looking for one for a while. The Toka series, hours and hours and hours. I played these back in the day. Amazing games. Then we're getting on to Tony Hawks. I've actually got the original Tony Hawks. I thought I had that. It might be in the other collection. And they've got Tomb Raiders, two, three, Revelations, Chronicles, all of them are complete now. What else have we got here? B Rally. Then you're coming into this is probably one of the rarer games in the collection, which is X Men vs Street Fighter. On this side, anyway, it's definitely probably one of the rarest ones on this side. That goes up for about fifty pounds now. Definitely worth keeping an eye out. Yu Gi Oh's card game, School Monkeys. That was my original copy. One I picked up recently from the Ryan Shan, just because this one has got a little bit of driving on the um, on the manual, but everything else is fine with it. Whereas Ryan's had drawing on the inlay. So between them I've got a really nice copy, so one of them will be up for trade if you don't mind. I mean the disc and everything's alright, but you know there's a little bit of cosmetic wear to it. Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8 again, um, Odd Worlds, Resident Evil, that's a variant, Resident Evil 2 is a variant, Metal Gear Solid is a variant, Grand Theft Auto Collector's Edition, that's getting quite hard to find now. Um, Point Blank for 8, great game. I actually found out this one is actually worth a little bit of money now. So I'm sorry about that lay, I didn't know at the time, the double disc one. Ox of War is an absolutely brilliant game, voiced by Rick Mail, 
a basic load of pigs going to war, turn based. Absolutely brilliant, really funny. It's well written, there's some really funny comedy bits in there. Medieval 2, every collection should have it. There's my Crash Bandicoot Black Label and Alone in the Dark. So, up to the top row. Again, these are alphabetical. I'm not going to go through all these, just some of the highlights. You've got the obligatory loads of Sonics because every collection you pick up has got a version of Sonic in it of some description. Um, Street Fighter 2, boxed, great game. Super Hang On, Thruxton, great over the top shooter. I'm sure you've seen this game before. So, uh, it really is a good game, really good fun. Then you've got probably the best game in the collection is Zero Wings. Very R type side scrolling. Uh, this is box complete. So it's playing this early on. Really good game. Um, it's like a sideshow scrolling shooter. Great game. Balls out. Got Micro Machines, Mortal Kombat. This has got Revenge of Shinobi in it. Any of the cover for that? There's not really much on them as there's Taz and so there's Sonic again. Sonic gets everywhere. Uh, all the Micro Machines I've got. I just need boxes. I've got two boxed up there. You've got Altered Beast, Ball Jacks behind there, Aladdin, we all know all these games, are, they're pretty crap. Echo, X-Mutants, Dragon's Fury, F1. I've got the FIFA collection, I think I've got all the FIFAs now for it, which is not really an achievement, but it's a, a collection within a collection. Golden Axe, of course, absolutely brilliant game. And then you've got Indiana Jones, James Pond, Lemmings, Mega Games, Mortal Kombat, etc. etc. So yeah, that's it. I mean, up here you've also got the boxed. You saw me get this. I got this from a charity shop for £2.95, which was partly factory sealed due to the old deer in the, fact, in the um, charity shop wanting to open it to make sure it worked and everything was in there. So I ended up opening that on camera and everything is complete. It's really meant um, great condition. That sells for anywhere from... 35 to 100 pounds depending on condition. Great, that's a great find. And then I've got the box Mega Drive, which was one of my first pickups. Um, so yeah, that's six months. Six months worth of work here. At the time I've been on YouTube, so it's a few days over six months. And this is what I've got. And there's also other stuff as well. I mean, I've got a hell of a lot. You've watched the videos, you've seen what I've picked up. You've seen what's been traded. So it just shows that if you put the work in, you get to the boots early, you do the charity shops, you work Gumtree, you know, eBay late at night, misspellings, etc, etc. You will get the deals, they are there. Obviously this is only mainly disc base and cartridge base, and there's more cartridge base. So I'll do a separate video for that, because we're on 23 minutes already. So I hope you enjoyed that, at least you know what you're seeing behind, what's behind me and the reason why it's there. Um, obviously this will be all blocked out soon game section over here because it's getting a bit crowded and a bit messy it gets messy easy so there's a sofa sat behind me where i sit and chill and play my games obviously i work from the desk which is here and some mario's there which are for raz and yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed that let me know if you've seen anything you want in there please let me know because some of the stuff that i've shown you is also doubles because i do already have it in my other collection my main collection so if you see anything let me know and as always guys Thank you for watching and keep gaming.